friends. I'm sorry I'm a couple minutes late this morning. I realized that um, there was no way that I could freehand a flamingo on live. And so I decided to print a picture of one so that I could use my graphite paper and trace it. So I just want to say welcome everyone. I hope that you are having a fabulous day and um, let's paint. So yesterday I told you guys I could not deliver the mason jar that I had made to someone because I needed spray. So I went yesterday and I got this spray and this is the Rust-Oleum Ultra Clear. It's, um, it's fast drying, non-yellowing and UV resistant. That's what I spray my signs with. So I'm gonna do that today outside. You don't want to do that indoors. So I got that, but I wanted to show you the product that I use um, for anyone who maybe is going to paint their own. Okay, so that was Monday's, and we we announced our winner yesterday, and I just realized I didn't print that list. So I'll have to announce our winner for yesterday's shares. Um, I'll go live a little bit later today and announce that. So I'll pull that list. Anyone who sprinkled the love from the video yesterday will be entered to win another, I'm doing another mason jar cutout. So um, it will ship right to your house. But I have a couple things I wanna show you before we get started painting today. If you join the virtual paint party this month, good morning, Lisa. This is the current sign. Now, that being said, if you join where you get a sign mailed to you, that starts in May. You get access to everything right away, but your first shipment goes in May. So you won't actually get this one, but you can order it if you want to. But this is what is currently in the vault for anyone who um, joins for the digital membership. You get access to this template immediately. So you can cut this out and paint, and the video is already in the vault. So this is this month's project. And then, we, um, if you sprinkle the love, thank you so much. Uh, this is what we are mailing out. I'm mailing out one today to our winner from Monday. And then tomorrow I'll mail out the one from whoever sprinkled yesterday. So I'll be drawing that a little bit later. I apologize. Um, I just forgot. So I'll jump on and do that later. But if you sprinkle this video, I will do another giveaway tomorrow and I'll do a third a mason jar cut out so just keep sprinkling you will still get a chance to win and we may do that all week that way we can give away five of the mason jar cutouts so also on the website I have just so you know I have the large mason jar that you can purchase and this is super fun I've got a ton of these in stock so if anyone purchases those I can get those out all right I'm ready to paint who's ready to paint I started the truck yesterday and oh we painted it blue and i am gonna put some fun stuff in the back of it today so a lot of times i will use colored pencils but as one of this sweet um, viewers yesterday pointed out chalk is another good option and i keep like i said all of my stuff is right here in these drawers so I'm going to grab my chalk because this is going to be a lot busier than a normal sign. So I'm going to have a lot more going on. So let me move a couple things out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and keep the blue paint that uh, I use the cobalt blue on. Well, good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm going to keep the cobalt blue on my paint table, but I'm going to throw the rest of this uh, into this drawer. So the way I store my paint, I store it upside down so that it's ready to squirt out whenever I'm ready to use it. Let me throw all this back in here, and then I think we're going to use those colors. So I'll keep those out. Okay. So I'm going to start drawing on my sign. If you missed yesterday's live, we base coated the vintage door hanger, so vintage truck door hanger. So this is just the back of a truck. And if you can see the window, I kind of did um, a technique on there where I kind of dry brushed a different color over the top so that it would look like there was um, just some 3D, some like reflection in that window. So let me move this 
Hello. Yes, it does. Beth is right. It helps you find the colors because you see the whole color instead of some of them are, you see how some of the paint bottles have this thing on top? Let me show you one that doesn't. There's one that doesn't. So if you store them upside down, you see the whole color. So Beth, you are absolutely right. Absolutely right. All right, friends. So let me show you the flamingo that I printed. And for my virtual paint party people, this, I'm actually gonna provide this for you in um, our membership area so that if you want to paint the truck and you want to draw a flamingo and you're like me, sometimes you just can't draw, um, you can trace it. So one of the techniques that I teach is using graphite paper to help you make your door hangers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my graphite paper and for the rest of this, I'm gonna draw with chalk and pencil it all in. But for my um, for my flamingo, she's gonna kinda be the showstopper. Like, she's gonna be the star of the show. So I'm gonna cut around her and I'm gonna figure out where I wanna place her and I'm gonna go ahead and draw her on. And while I paint today, because our virtual paint party is open and it only opens twice a year, um, I will talk to you guys a little bit about that and if that opportunity is right for you. We've had so many new people join us over the last couple days and it makes me so excited. Uh, several people are already jumping in. One of them, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of her. She um, decided with her lettering that she wanted to start using Procreate and she already jumped in and started doing that. All right, so a lot of times when you are wanting to use your graphite paper and you're wanting to trace something onto your board, thank you so much for sprinkling. Everybody who sprinkles is entered to win a mason jar cutout shipped right to you. So when you're doing this, a lot of times you want, in a, and I do this a lot with lettering. So if I letter on tracing paper, I will cut out, I'll set my tracing paper down and I will draw the shape that I want my lettering to fit in and then I'll actually cut that out and letter inside that shape so that I know that it's going to fit right and look right on my board. So similarly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cute little flamingo and I am going to figure out where I want to place her so that she's exactly where I want before I put her um, on the graphite paper. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Lisa. Lisa says, I have a truck, but it has interchangeable cutouts. A snowman head. That's really cute. Yes, I have um, in the interchangeable truck as well. I just, I love to um, paint multiple things. Like, I just love to paint. And so, a lot of times, I'll just paint a whole scene um, on the back. So, so, I think I want to put her there. Now, if you were, let's say that you're going to do like me, and we're going to do a bunch of different stuff in the back, you could gently set her down, and you could start sketching out some of the other stuff. So, I'm going to do that with chalk today. I know for sure that I want a surfboard, so I need to just figure out placing. That's what I'm working on right now. Thank you so much, Peggy. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Sandra. Y'all are awesome. All right, so I'm going to sketch out my surfboard and I'm just using chalk because I can just erase it off um, or use a damp cloth to do it. And then I think I'm gonna do, let's see, I think I might have her. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some taller than the other because you don't want everything to just be straight across. So like if I was doing a surfboard and I was doing the flamingo like if I put all of it straight across it doesn't look as good I don't know it doesn't have as much I don't know eye appeal so I'm gonna go up and kind of at an angle with her and then I think I'm gonna do a beach ball right here so I'm just gonna draw that little edge right there and then up here I'm gonna do a um um, I'm trying to think, a pineapple, and then I think we're going to do a watermelon over here. 
Okay, so I've got a beach ball, my flamingo. She's gonna go kind of up to the top. And then I've got my pineapple and a surfboard and a watermelon. Okay, and so they're all kind of different heights. So I just used my chalk. If you made a line and you didn't like where you did it, you can just gently use your finger and get it off or a damp towel, not wet, just damp. All right, so now I know I want her here. I'm gonna keep my finger holding her beak in place and I'm just gonna slide my graphite paper right underneath my cutout. And if you're looking for graphite paper, if you're like, oh, hold on, I don't have any of that, um, it's in my Amazon affiliate store and I will get you that link. I've got all my supplies in there so you know exactly what I purchased and what I like. Um, oh, I lost y'all for just a second. All right, so now I'm gonna take my colored pencil or a regular pencil, whatever sharp edge you have, and I'm gonna trace her on. So, good morning, Mary Jane. Thank y'all so much for sprinkling. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Pam. Okay, and Kathy says hello this morning. All right, so I'm just gonna trace around her. I'm actually gonna trace her details too. Now guys, you can freehand this if that's your thing. I am not really good at freehanding unless I can go back and erase and you know start again. So a lot of times I will use some type of template. And I use this a lot with lettering too. And I actually create lettering templates to help letter your door hangers so you could just trace them on. All right, I'm gonna trace this feather. Now you don't have to do all the details, but I'm gonna do the main ones so I make sure I get the placing right. The main thing is just don't lift your paper up. I'm gonna join your group, yay! I'm so excited too. So I wanna talk a little bit while I'm tracing around this about the group. Like I said, we're only open through Friday. We open twice a year to the public. And the next time that we open will be in September. And the price is going up. So this is the last time that it'll be under $20 for the digital membership. And it's 43 for the mailed blank membership. Um, both of those prices will be going up in September. So if you want to join us at that lower price point, I highly recommend you get in now. And we just started, this month is our first month, but what I heard from so many people over the last couple of months is that you need help lettering on your door hangers, that you struggle with uh, confidence when it comes to lettering. And so we have actually started just a monthly workshop. We'll do one workshop a month that will help you build confidence with your lettering. So that is a new member benefit. And uh, by the time we reopen in September, we will have six months worth of lettering workshops in the vault. And so the price will, will reflect that. So some of the other things that come in your membership, you get 50% off all digital templates. So anything that you can print from the, you know, from your computer, all of that is 50% off. And then you also get access to the members retreat next year, which is gonna be in either April or May. It's gonna be right here. We're gonna do two creative projects. There's a Facebook community where you get to meet lots of other women who are encouraging and helpful. And um, we do new projects in there. You get one door hanger template and video per month and what else I'm trying to think there's there's more um, yeah so it's just it's a lot of fun stuff so lettering door hangers uh, discounts on all of your templates fellowship with your friends and um, so much more I'm I, my mind is blank this morning okay so I'm going to work on some of these details and then um, I'm going to work on, we'll do that, all the accents to the truck. But I want to get all this stuff right in the back so then I can add all the stuff on top. Because if you joined us yesterday, we said we're like building seven layer dip. Like you start on the back and you work your way up. 
So this would be underneath the tailgate, right? So I need to get this right before I paint the lines and things to show the tailgate. So let's get started. I'm gonna grab my egg carton and get some paint. Let's see what all colors I want this morning. I know I want black, but feel free to ask questions. I'm, I'm live every day this week while we're open so that you can ask questions and get your answers and decide if the virtual paint party is right for you. Oh, uh, but it has been so fun the last couple days, like watching everyone get plugged in and get access. And I was on the phone this morning. There was um, one of our sweet members, Miss Peggy. She was having trouble logging in. And sometimes the tech can be a challenge. And so we got her all situated so she has access to her content and she can get started painting and creating. Okay. And then, and we do have, there's one more member's benefit that um, I can't announce yet because we haven't rolled it all the way out, but it should be ready by May 1st. And I'm super excited about that because that's going to help those of you who don't like to cut your own door hangers. Uh, hi, Kara. I love the blue truck and the paint party group. Yay, Shirley. What paint do you use? Um, Vivica. Aw, oh, it's so sweet. So I use random paint. Uh, I kind of use different brands. I use whatever I have on hand, whatever I can get access to. So the reason I say that is right now, everybody knows like Hobby Lobby is closed. Well, if I only used uh, Hobby Lobby paint, I'd be up a creek right now. Oh, you're so sweet. So I, um, I use pretty much anything that I can get my hands on. So Apple Barrel, I use Michael's paint, just whatever. So you have to kind of pick, you know, there's certain colors like white uh, that I do have brands that I'm loyal to. The Apple Barrel is not the best white in the world. Oh no! In business. Um, Jacqueline, I have a business. This is what I do to support my family. So yes, this is um, my business page. I spend more time behind the computer than I care to admit. Um, running the business but this week I'm so excited because I get to paint all week long all right so I'm gonna get started laying in some colors and several of these colors are gonna need multiple coats now remember if you're painting yellow orange sometimes blue usually red you will need to add a dot of white to it so I do have oh I put my white away I do have several colors out on my egg carton top, and I'm using the top of it. I'm not even using the bottom right now. And I use mine several times until I'm like, ooh, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna get some white so that I can kind of just dip my paintbrush into the um, white and the colors. And I'm gonna start painting my uh, Flamingo first, okay? So we do want to get different colors on her, but I'm gonna just start, and you can use whatever brush you want. A good rule of thumb is for detail work, you're gonna size down using, like your brush size will size down. And then for base coating and things like that, you can use a bigger brush. Like I would not use this little bitty brush to base coat. Yes, thank you, Amy. So Amy is on. She is posting the link if you would like to join us and paint with us every month in our membership. It's basically like Netflix for crafters. So as long as you are a paying member, you get access to a whole vault. That's what, that's what I was forgetting. One of the biggest things is we have over two years worth of painting videos in um, the vault. And since our members get 50% off all their digital templates, if there's any past projects that they wanna paint, all you have to do is pay the $2.50 for your template and you can cut your own. So you can go back and paint as a member for $19 a month. You can paint extra projects for only $2.50 each, which is super awesome. Or if you don't want to actually paint them, but you wanna learn some you know, new stuff for how to paint them, 
um, you can just log in and just watch the videos. Those are all included in your membership. But this is the last time. The um, When we reopen in September, the vault um, will be on a waiting period, so you won't get it right away. So the price will be going up to closer to $30 a month, and the um, vault will not, you won't have instant access. Okay, so by turning my brush different ways, I'm gonna show you, you can get all those little feathers, okay? You have to make sure your brush is stiff enough. If it's not stiff enough, then you may have to size down a brush, or you might, um, you might need to um, just get a different brush altogether. Okay, so when I did this, I mixed a little bit of white with my pink. Okay, I wanna show you guys up close. If you were in person, you'd be able to tell that it's not a solid pink. It's kind of, um, I don't know. Like I can see the white and the lighter pinks in the shades, but I want that especially for this because it's bird feathers. So we want to have those different colors. And if you look at my brush, you can see all those different colors on my brush. So I hope that that's helpful. Now I'm gonna switch over to my watermelon since I already have pink on my brush. And I'm going to paint the inside of the watermelon. So I, all I did for my watermelon was I drew the curved edge on the side and the straight line. So now I'm just filling that in, just the part that would be pink. Right here. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then I need to see, do I have any other pink? I'm gonna do a beach ball Beach balls are a little bit harder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw the center of my beach ball. Where do I wanna draw it? I think I'll draw it right here. And then I'm gonna draw my curved lines that make it like a beach ball. I'm gonna make sure your curves go the same way. There we go. Okay, and then this is gonna stop right there and right there. Okay, so now I can paint a portion of that, hello, I can paint a portion of that pink. I think I'm gonna paint the part that's farther away from the flamingo. Paint it pink. A quick tip for you today, if you paint something dark and you realize you need to go lighter over it, do a full coat of white before you do any color. All right, so, so far I've got pink there and there. I think that's enough pink. So I'm gonna, I think my flamingo, I'm gonna add a little bit of accent to her. I've got lighter in my brush right now. So I'm just gonna go through and put a few strokes of lighter in here while I have it in my brush. Let me show y'all up close what that looks like. Okay, can y'all see how I went back? I took, because this, Oh, sorry, this was the last thing that I painted and it had more white in my brush. So I just made the feathers. Can you see that? I just made that line, but it's not like a hard and fast line. It's kind of shaded. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to add another coat. Yep, I can do it. As long as your paint is dry, you can go ahead and do a second coat before you change colors. Friends, I will tell you that if you jump back and forth, like if I went to green next and um, I didn't try to get like all the pink and all the green, it takes forever. So when you're painting, if you're in a hurry or you know you have a limited amount of time, try to envision where all the colors are gonna be and then paint all those colors before you move to the next. Okay, so I've got that. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more right here. Good morning, Aunt Sassy Pants. All right. Okay, so now that all those have a second coat, I'm going to move on to the next. So there's where we're at right now. So now I'm gonna switch to lime green and I need 
some lime. Okay, this is a deco art color and it's called Sour Apple. And I love the brush I was just using, so I'm gonna grab it again. It's a flat brush. I don't know the number. Let me see if it has a number on it. Let's see. Oh, it's a number 10. So these brushes are triangular, triangular handle, and they are plastic handles. So I don't, they don't get, excuse me, they don't get messed up in the water. And this one is a number 10. So I'm just gonna start putting some green on here. I'll put green on the watermelon. I'll put green on the surfboard. So the colors that I'm gonna use, now I did my truck pretty dark. It's, it's a darker blue or a cobalt blue, but the pops of color are gonna come in this. So I just wanna make sure that I get plenty of color. Um, there's gonna be a line right there. Okay, so I got my green. And if anyone's wondering, uh, I use a Lazy Susan underneath my paint so that I can swirl my board easily. It also helps to elevate your board in case you need to paint the sides. These are laser cut, so um, the sides don't have to be painted because they're sealed. But if you're cutting with a jigsaw, then you would need to paint those edges. So I've got the top of my pineapple, I've got my watermelon, Ryan, and I've got, thank you Peggy, and I've got some green in my beach ball. I'm going to do a little bit more on my beach ball before I move on because it's already dry and I need that second coat to minimize our time. And then I'm going to do a little bit more over here. Then we'll switch to another color. All right. I think that's good. Okay. I'm going to throw that in the water. Huge welcome. Yay! Who joined us? Amy, who joined us? I want to know. I want to know. Super big shout out. Okay, so I'm gonna do my surfboard. I think I might do it in multiple colored polka dots on, e nope, that can't be on yellow because I'm gonna have yellow right here. Turquoise, we're gonna do it on turquoise. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do a light turquoise paint since the rest of this is so dark. And then our polka dots can show up nice and pretty. So I've got, this is called Ocean Breeze. It's a Michaels color. And I'm gonna paint the entire surfboard this blue. Make sure that you sprinkle the love so that you can be entered to win a mason jar cutout. And I'll jump on a little bit later today and announce the winner from yesterday. But our winner from Monday, her mason jar is shipping out today. Yes, bright turquoise. So I'm just getting a good coat of paint on here. And then we'll do another spot of our beach ball. Let's see. Now I'm not super concerned about these lines where it meets up being perfect because we're gonna go back 
and we'll be shaping up our truck after all this is painted. All right, so let me add some blue or turquoise to our beach ball. And if you're just joining us, welcome, welcome. Make sure you sprinkle so you can be entered to win. And the virtual paint party is open through Friday, and then it's closed until September. So if you would like to join us and paint with us every month and have a group of crafty, uplifting women to paint with and fellowship with, um, click on over and join. It's only $19 a month, but this is the last time that we'll be opening at that price. When we open in September, it will be significantly higher. We did just add over the last, this past week was our first one. We have added a whole new part to the virtual paint party. We are now doing one hand lettering workshop per month just to help you kind of build your skills. All right, I'm trying to figure out how far I want this pineapple to go down. Yeah, I don't want it to look funny like it's suspended in there, but I guess, oh, you know what? That's what I'll do. I'll bring it down right here. Now friends, remember the more detail, the smaller your brush. So if you're having trouble, like if you're using a brush and you're not able to get in those small areas, size down. Is that say? The smaller mason jars, yes. Um, Amy, will you make me a note? Hello, Miss Christy. Will you make me a note to list the smaller mason jars on the website today? Because I do have, I have like 15 of them cut, so I could actually mail some of those out. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to orange. I'm trying to think, do I want? Oh, I need to do his legs. I'm gonna do a smaller brush. Most of the brushes I like are in the water. I'm gonna do a smaller brush and we are gonna do his legs. So I'm gonna do bright yellow with a little bit of white mixed in so that it will show up because remember yellow is a transparent color. So I'm not gonna put my hand resting too hard on the board because I need to be able to do like wispy quick strokes now this does not have to be perfect we're just looking for fun um, I'm putting these down here but I'm probably gonna end up painting over them because the tailgate but I went ahead and painted his whole legs let me just show you Awesome, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, isn't that looking cute? So this will probably get chopped off this leg, um, but for now I went ahead and drew, painted it that way because um, it's easy to paint over this darker blue. All right, so I've got his legs. Let's see, a little bit more here. And then I'm trying to decide, I think I wanna do, do I wanna do, I think I wanna do yellow for this other part of the, what type are you using to do that? Oh, Sandra. These are my microfiber towels. I talked all about them yesterday. They're in my Amazon store. Uh, I use them for cleaning. I use them for all kinds of stuff, but you can put your brush in the water and get it good and clean, and then you can dry it pretty much immediately with these towels. They're my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight yellow and smaller brush. And I'm going to do this last portion of the beach ball. So I size down my brush because this area is smaller. And for detail work, you need detail brushes. Do I paint with my mouth hanging open? I always wonder, like, what does my face look like when I get all serious? It's so fun. 
Okay. Now I do need to put the white right in the middle. You are very welcome, love. Sandra joined us. Peggy joined us. Who else is on here that joined us in the last couple days? Or you've been a member for a long time because, well, it's addicting. All right, I'm just painting the circle in the middle. It might need a few coats because it's white. All right. And then, okay, now I'm gonna start getting um, his beak and things like that painted. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna get a tiny, 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 and when I say tiny, guys, I mean a very tiny dot of black and mix it with my white to get gray. And we are gonna paint his beak. Uh, you know what, I might need to go a little bit darker because that gray kind of blends in. So let me get a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. So I've got just some gray and I'm gonna do part of his beak in gray. Uh-oh. And then I'm gonna do some in black. I'm gonna go into the black. Now, if you noticed, I didn't rinse my brush because it's okay if there's a little bit of gray in here. But if I was switching to a completely different color and it mattered, um, I would want to rinse my brush before I did that. All right. That's gonna be so cute. Okay, me, you answered, and you answered me. What were you answering? I don't know what I just asked. <laughs> I get so caught up in what I'm doing. All right, let me show y'all where we're at. Let me tilt it up. How fun is that? I mean, seriously, how fun is that? So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back, and I'm going to start adding in um, like more turquoise, more pink, and all the colors. Oh, you joined this week. Yes, that's right. That was the question. You did join this week, and I'm so glad you did. We are so stinking excited. Um, got so much fun stuff coming. Anyone who joined, if you're having trouble, if you don't know where something is, guys, ask us. Like, that's what we're here for. We just want to help you get plugged in and help you start crafting ASAP. We don't want you to get frustrated. We don't want you to wait, which is why this morning I had a conversation with Miss Peggy because she needed help and she was stuck. And I don't want her to be stuck. I don't want any of you to be stuck. I want you to open up your crafting supplies and be like, I've got this. All right. Okay. Hello, Tina. Sandra, thank you, thank you, Shirley, thank you. All right, so I'm just putting the extra coats on here so that it's not see-through. The first coat, a lot of times, is a little bit see-through. So the second coat will make a big difference. You may have to do a third coat with some colors. Yes, anyone who's a member, who's a paying member, like don't forget to click over and join the paid members group because that's where the coupon code is every month for your 50% off and all the lives are done right there inside that group. It's where you're gonna make your friends and find out what's happening. Okay, so that's done. All right, so next, let's see. I'm gonna go back to the pink. I'm gonna go straight into pink this time. I'm not putting any white in it because I'm done with the pink part of my flamingo so I'm going to do straight pink for the watermelon we have a, a shed that one side was starting to rot and like 
Anyway, we've been trying to wait until we sold that other house that we've had forever. And so we, as soon as that house sold, we hired a guy to come and replace that. He's here today. He's out there hammering and, oh, man, it's going to feel so good to get some of those little things that you know you need done, but to kind of wait. So anyway, remember to sprinkle the video if you want to be entered to win one of the mason jar cutouts like we painted on Monday. And if you missed that live, it is up on the Facebook page. And it was super fun. It was an easy painting. Okay, then I'm gonna go back into my yellow. And add another coat on this pineapple. Now I'm going to go back into my green. So all I'm doing right now is I'm going back over all those colors I did and adding another coat to just make them a little bit more vibrant. Thank you so much for sprinkling. My son's watching the old school Transformers videos, like the cartoons. And it's funny because it, it'll say, stay tuned, we'll return after this commercial break. But they're on DVD, so there's no commercial breaks. Always cracks me up. Why didn't they edit that out? Okay, I missed a tiny spot of the yellow. So I'm going back with my really small brush and I'm adding that back in. Now I'm going to do the legs one more time, so I'm going to go in my orange, get a little bit more white because orange stays pretty transparent, and then I'm going to just go over this. Now remember when we paint, we want to paint really thin layers so that we can layer them. Because a lot of times you'll want to come back and you'll want to add something else, and if your paint is really thick, it's really hard. Oh, Amy, that's so sweet. Um, that's actually my daughter's name. Um, I named my business after her. I get called Kinsley a lot, and um, I always answer. <coughs> but yes, I'm glad y'all are watching. We are having fun painting today and talking about the virtual paint party. We're open for a few more days before we close for the rest of the year. Well, till I say that, until fall. All right, I need a little bit more turquoise. So I'm gonna go back and I do a little bit more right here because I can still see through it. So after we get this kind of drawn out and we get the base coats painted, the next thing that we do is we just kind of start layering that paint so that it can be more vibrant. So I'm loving, loving, loving how this turned out, or is turning out, I should say. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding some of the details, and one of the things that I need to do is I need to box in, like I need to add all of these lines. So I'm going to grab, let me, I'm going to wash all these paintbrushes super fast, dry them with my microfiber towel so that I know I have all of them that I need. Stick them in here. This is the one I think I was looking for. And then this was my base coating brush. If you missed yesterday, we base coated the board. And, be careful with this one. 
Um, this is my ginormous base coating brush. Makes it so much easier. I'm gonna grab these. So who has questions? Who is contemplating joining us to paint every month in our membership? Who is who's contemplating Netflix for crafters? And what questions can I answer for you? Okay, I'm gonna grab, I think I'll do this one. So friends, if you're trying to test a brush and you want to know, like, is it a good brush for whatever you're about to do, on your dry project, you can mimic your brush strokes and you can see how much the brush spreads out. So is this going to make my lines too thick? If so, I need to pick a different brush and size down. So in that case, will this one work? This one still spreads out a lot. So this one's not, um, it's not stiff enough. So then I would try a different one. And you'll get to where you have certain brushes that are your favorite for different things like this. Another thing that you can do when it comes to your details like this is you can use Posca pens, which I have these in my Amazon store as well. They are the 2.5 mm and they are like the Cadillac of paint markers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of my outlines and I'm going to use my paint marker to do it. Me, Nikki, are you thinking about joining us? Let me know if you have questions. That's what I'm here for. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around my board with this black. You don't have to stay right on the lines. If you were doing this with a paintbrush, the way that I recommend you doing it is where your paintbrush kind of hangs off the edge of your board and you just consistently go around. All right. Thank you, Vicki. Nikki said yes. Nikki, are you going to join us or do you have questions? Which one? Or both. Y'all see how easy this Lazy Susan makes it to just rotate your board. So I'm just highlighting or going around all of this and I'm going to show you the difference it makes. Um, can y'all see that over there? It's kind of hard on camera to see, but, oh, yeah, you can, you can see how that's going to end up changing the look of the whole project. So let me keep going. And friends, if you're like me, I, I paint with a trimmer, but if you have trouble with like smooth lines, it helps if you do not put your elbow on your board helps if you lift that elbow and kind of let it groan. All right, I'm gonna do this line across the back of the tailgate. Uh-oh. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this one. This one. Can you explain it to me how many classes it is? So everything is done online, everything is recorded so that you can go back and watch it later. And we do, we just added the um, lettering part to the membership. So that will be one lettering workshop a month. The, the one for this month is already in the, um, it's already in on the website as well as in the Facebook group. So you would have immediate access to that. And then this month's project, which was the spring bike, let me find it. 
if you do the digital membership, that template's already ready to download and your video's already up to paint. So you can cut your own and, and paint. If you wanted to order that, um, you can also order the blank. But if you sign up for the um, digital membership, you get a template and a video to paint along with every month. And you also get the lettering workshop. If you do the membership where you get a mailed blank, you get all of that, but you also get that month's blank mailed to you. So your first blank would mail out by May the 5th. So you're always a month ahead. So if you pay, if you make your payment, you know, in April, you're paying for May um, for that part of it. But you still have access to all the videos and everything else all the time. You just, um, you know, your membership is a little bit different wherein you're waiting on your project to be mailed to you. I do teach, uh, I have videos showing you how to cut, what wood to get, um, all my favorite products so that you can get started right away. And there is a vault of over two years worth of projects that you can go back and paint. The only thing you'll need to do is you'll need to purchase the template which templates are $5, but members get 40%, not 40, 50% off all digital templates. So at any time, you can purchase any template from my shop for 50% off as long as you're a paying member. So what that means for you is the two years worth of paintings in the vault, if you wanna paint along with them and make any of those door hangers, it's $2.50 to buy your template, cut it out, and then you can paint additional projects as many as you want every month. Sprinkle from Canada. Oh, love that, Miss Brenda. So you get one new class a month, um, one door hanger painting a month, and template, and one lettering class, and then you get access to the vault of old stuff. So you can go back and you know do past projects. Hopefully that was helpful, Nikki. Let me know if you still have questions, if I didn't answer something. Random thought, but can I tell you guys how much, oh, Mississippi is watching. Can I tell you guys how much I miss Mexican food restaurants being open? I mean, can we just be honest here for just a second between girls? I feel the need to say something. Can I be honest with y'all? Besides the Mexican food thing, like true honesty. Can we can we do that? I had someone this week preach, sister, and Japanese. Yes, I need my sushi open again. Um, I had someone this week that joined my membership and got frustrated right away because of tech problems and actually sent me a really mean email. She sent me a really mean email. Friends, I just have to say it was really easy to make the decision to push the refund button because I realized that I don't want mean people in our virtual paint party group. I want sweet, loving, kind, graceful people who show grace, gracious, I guess I should say, people. And so, friends, like, I just want you to know that if you join the virtual paint party and there is any of that mean, unkind, not loving, um, I'm not gonna keep those people around. So I want it to be a safe place for all of us to hang out, a super fun place, somewhere that we want to, you know, a safe place on the internet that we want to go and say, I can share my art, I can get, um, you know, I can get some really good feedback, and I know that everybody that's commenting and providing feedback, if I ask for it, is, is doing it from a place of, I, I just truly want to help you. Um, if if we have people outside of the group like you know that come in and they're not like that they're not going to stay so um, that's very 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 important to me 
so I don't I don't want all the members um, I want the kind loving sweet people who can show others grace um, I hope that it's okay to say that because I don't want you to join the membership and then feel like there's a bunch of people that are looking at everybody else's art going oh that's not good that's not what we want at all we want to be able to help each other and encourage each other and provide a safe place where we can all find time to be creative every month um because if we don't have that like it's not worth anything thank y'all for sharing uh, and yes, anyone who sprinkles the love is going to be entered to win a mason jar cutout. And the doors are only open to the virtual paint party through Friday. And then when we open back up in September, it's going to be closer to $30 a month. I don't know exact that exact number yet. But right now we're at 19 for your digital membership and it will be the last time. It's a Posca pin. They are my very, very, very favorite, Jessica. They're in my Amazon affiliate store. Um, I can send you that link. All my favorite supplies are in my Amazon store. And these are like the Cadillac of paint markers. Mama always said, that's right. Those are my people. My goodness, those are my people. Like there's not, okay, let me, side story. So several of you, and I didn't, I don't know, maybe I didn't proofread when I did this, but I had a friend last night message me and she goes, I just read one of your Facebook posts on your business page and it sounded like your husband left you. Well, let me back up and say, on that post, I made the comment that I got left behind with two kids and what I actually meant by being left behind with two kids was my husband had to go out of state and work ahead of me and I got left behind to sell the house keep the kids in school and keep life going until we could move with him so I apologize if that came off wrong it was a very very tough emotional time for our family like marriages are hard enough uh, yes, doesn't it? Zero and twirl. Um, so, marriage is hard enough without that kind of stress and distance. But that was a really crazy time for us. Which, that's when I learned to paint. And that's when I found that I loved it and how therapeutic it was. So, anyway, I apologize for that post if it sounded like my husband left me. He did not. Praise the Lord because I'd be lost without him. But the other night he came home, it was Monday night, and I um, was telling him about, you know, how the first day of launch went. And I get very excited because what this does for me is it gives me the opportunity to stay home with my children and to work from home so that I can be here. Like during this pandemic, like I, I can be here. Well, <clears throat> he's always been very, very, very supportive. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. So, he's always been very supportive, but we did go through, like, the reason we moved where we are now is because um, our, I mean, we had, we got to a point where I never saw my husband, and my kids never saw their dad, and we needed to de desperately make a change for our family. So, the other night when we were sitting there and we were, like, you know, just talking about the day, he said, I told him that I was having that issue that somebody was, you know, not being very nice. And he goes, let him go. Yes. My spouse moved ahead of me three times. It didn't just happen once. It happened three times. And the first time, my baby was six months old. The second time, I had a two-year-old and a seven-month-old. And then the third time, I had a five-year-old and a seven-year-old or five-year-old and she had just turned eight maybe so yes it was I mean it is super hard and it's hard enough as a mom to like keep all the things going but then to like have your spouse leave I mean hats off to single moms hats off to them because I just it is hard work um, and we've never lived anywhere where we've had family um, I forgot what I was telling y'all anyway oh so I was telling him and he was like get rid of them get rid of them like you don't need that in your life and I love that because honestly, 
when I decided to start a home-based business, it was because it was what was best for my, my family so that I could be here for my husband and kids. And if I let those people in, um, it just, it doesn't, it's not the best thing for my family. It's just really not. So letting people go and whether that's in business, whether that's in life, whether that's, you know, you are the equivalent of the five people you surround yourself with. Um, guys, just make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people. Let go of things that don't bring you joy that you can let go of. Now, do I realize that there are things you can't let go of? Yes, I do. But it was just funny because I, I had that same thought. And just knowing that, um, you know, we were on the same page and he's like, yeah, we don't need that. It was just really funny. But I apologize if it sounded like my husband left me. He did, in a way, leave. He went ahead of me. But our marriage is still intact and all of that. Isn't it amazing? Guys, look at this. What a huge difference. Huge difference. Huge. So, these Posca pins are amazing. Now, I'm not done with my details, though. I'm still, um, yes, you can watch the beginning. Absolutely, you can. I will post uh, the link when we're done, and you can go back and watch it whenever you want to. Okay, so, what am I going to do next? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and draw in my pineapple. I'm going to draw some rough lines. All right. There's my, there's my rough pineapple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna put my polka dots in here. I'm gonna put my watermelon, oh, I can do my watermelon seeds with this. Let me do that. There's my watermelon seeds. <laughs> Does the black line stay on the leg? Does the black line stay on the leg? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're asking. Oh, right here? Is that what you're talking about? How it's cut off? Because I'm going to paint over that in just a minute. Is that, is that what you're asking? So I will use my cobalt blue and go back over that, but I didn't know how far down I was going to go. Um. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. I don't want to get you in trouble. Don't let me get you in trouble. That's not what I'm here for. All right, so let me go ahead and cover this up so that there's no confusion. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this line up. Anything that was underneath that black. I've got a very stiff angled brush and I'm, yep, I'm just covering that up. Okay, there's the first coat. It'll need a little bit more, but there you go. Is that better? Does that make more sense now? I hope that, um, I hope that makes more sense. Now, at this point, I have some blue on my brush, so I'm going to look at my sign because, you know, we're all about being effective or being efficient. And anywhere that needs more blue, I'm going to touch that up. I think that's it. And I just realized I missed part of my outlining. I didn't get this part of the window. So let me do that. I do have several of these trucks in stock that already have the etched lines, and those are for sale on the website if anyone wants to paint their own truck. Can I join and pay month to month? It is month to month, Nikki. It is month to month, um, but you you can't just join for one month. Okay, I didn't say that right. You can join for one month, but if you don't wanna pay the second month, you have to make sure you cancel at least three business days prior or otherwise you get charged again. 
Um, oh, gosh, no, 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 you didn't offend me at all. I just wasn't, wasn't there yet. The cobalt blue paint is the Michaels brand. It's the Michaels brand. So, Nikki, I hope that that, can you talk about how the templates work and what supplies are needed? Ryan is impressed with the truck. <gasps> Sweet. I mean, man, I can impress Ryan. I'm doing good today. Okay, so let me back up. Nikki, if I did not answer your question or if it's not uh, coherent because I'm doing six million things, let me know. But, yes, it is only, yeah, okay. So, yeah, you, you, I don't have a month a month you know like where you just pay one time like in it be done but you can cancel anytime so you can pay month to month okay template so how does a template work let's say that you join the virtual paint party and you are a template member what you get each month is a downloadable PDF that you print right from your printer and then I have videos I show you how to do all this but I'm gonna see if I have one here yes I do then you take all those pieces of paper you print them off and then you tape them together to make your sign and what you do is you lay this right on your board and you trace around it and then you cut your board out which I'll show you how to do that too then if you want to after you get your board cut out uh, you can take your graphite paper and you can actually trace some of the details right onto your board so for example if you were doing the truck template, let's say you went to the website, you paid $5 and you purchased the back of the truck template because you wanted to cut your own. It comes with a PDF with all of these lines. So what you would do is you would do just that. You would set it out on your board. You would trace it out. You'd use your jigsaw and cut. Then you would take that same template, set it back on top. And you can even do this while it's on the board before you cut it but you would use your graphite paper and you would draw out the, these lines so that you would know kind of where to paint. Does that make sense? So, the Virtual Paint Party has two membership options. The first one is the digital template membership where you get a template each month, you cut your own board, you paint along with the video. You also, with that membership, you get the lettering workshop every month and you get access to the vault, which like I said, this is the last membership opening where it's under $20 a month and you get access to the entire vault of over two years worth of videos that you can paint along with. That being said, you get one template a month and that template goes away at the end of the month because if we have a new member come in, they don't get access to all of the old templates. But what they do get access to and what you also get access to is a coupon code for 50% off all templates, digital templates, anything that you can print and download. So, you can actually go into the vault and you can do two years worth of door hangers like we've done for $2.50 per template by using your coupon code. So, I hope that that makes sense. Also, I do a lot of um, lettering templates. For example, let's see if I can find one. Let's see, I don't know if I have any down here. Oh, like this. Okay, this is not a great example, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, like when I made this sign right here, I printed this off. I create these that you can purchase and print from the website that you can set on your board and you can use your graphite paper and you can actually letter like welcome and all the different things. So, I create those two and you get those at 50% off as well. So, I hope that that is helpful and you kind of get a better idea of what the digital membership is. As far as the other membership, um, the mailed sign, you get one sign a month. So if you pay in April, you get your sign, your first sign ships the first week in May, but you get access to all of the digital stuff. You just don't have to actually cut your own sign if you don't want to. Okay, I need polka dots. So I'm gonna switch to this brush, which I'm going back to my number 10. My triangular brush and I'm gonna get let's see I'm gonna do orange oh I got one spot I need to highlight there we go okay uh, I'm gonna do orange and pink and lime some more lime 
What other colors do I want to do? Orange, pink, lime. Okay, let me just get started. So, to make my polka dots, you are very, very, very welcome. All right, I'm going to put a lot of paint on one side of my brush. Then I'm going to set my brush down on the board and I'm going to twirl. This is something that you practice and get better. Uh, but this is my favorite way to make polka dots. I'm going to show you all what that looks like. The outside of that polka dot is thick and the inside is thin, so I'll have to go back and color that in. But now I have my outline for my polka dot. You can also use, you can use like, you can trace this and do it. You can trace this side if you wanted a bigger polka dot. You can use these if you want to. Um, you can do it however you want, but this is my preferred way of doing polka dots. So I'm going to do a couple. in orange. Now remember, we're not looking for perfection. It's just paint. We can always paint over it. Okay. And if you missed it yesterday, we, um, we talked about cutting your boards out. And a lot of times that can be super, super intimidating, especially for like the April project where we're cutting all these little flowers out. But I want you to see what I did. Oh gosh, right there. Do you see how I didn't cut the spokes out and I didn't cut this part out, I just painted it a neutral color. I want you to imagine for just a second, if you had not cut out all of this stuff, you could have this color in the background and it would almost be like it was sitting on a piece of like burlap or, or something else so that you can just paint the design without having to do all those intricate cuts. I hope that makes sense, because sometimes you're gonna be like, I ain't got time for that, and that's okay. And you can, and my aunt even said yesterday, she said, you know, it would be good because then you could paint something different on the backside. You totally could. All right, uh, another polka dot. This one's green. Do another green one. Now, normally when I do polka dots, I use a triangular pattern, and I'm not using that right now because I'm doing so many different colors. I'm gonna get the green out of my brush, and I'm gonna switch to yellow. Now, with yellow, I have to add white, because if I don't, it's gonna be completely transparent. This might be enough. Oh, no, I need to do pink. Uh, maybe not. Nope, I think I kinda like it without. All right, so I will have to go back and kind of fill those in. Um, I have the bike, you can purchase just the template. Actually, that's our project for the month though. So if you join this month, you get that template immediately. But can y'all see that? I need to go back and color those in. But I also sell the bike cut out on my website. Please explain the triangular pattern. Beth, I have a whole video that I did. Actually, it was a video series, a four-part series on how to paint polka dots. It was, I gave you four different ways and I, I showed each one of them. Uh, I'm going to send you the link to that blog post where you can go back and watch that video series and I talk all about polka dots, spacing them out and all of that. So I'm gonna skip that if that's okay, but I will um, send you that link so that you can watch the video and learn all about it. Is that all right? Okay, sorry. I hope that's okay. I just, um, I was, there's a lot to re regurgitate and I was gonna, um, I wanna make sure you get the information and I slow down long enough to explain it to you. All right, so I'm gonna start adding some white details. This is really going to make it pop. Y'all have no idea what this is about to do. It's going to be phenomenal. This is where the magic happens. Okay, so we'll look at that. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? How fun is that? Oh. <laughs> um. Beth, I think that Amy just linked it for you. So isn't that awesome? So guys, the little details are what really make your sign pop. 
So remember that, like when we were base coating yesterday, guys, it was not pretty. It was not pretty. I'll be the first one to admit. But when you start adding accents like that, um, you, you just bring your, your uh, painting to life. So I am gonna accent. Some of this I need to go back and still paint. Markers, Posca pens. Uh, they are in my Amazon shop, and that, I think, Amy linked in one of the previous comments. They are the Cadillac of Paint Markers. So I'm just randomly accenting. I do still have to draw this sweet little flamingo's face. Do y'all see, because I have a trimmer, that I do not put my elbow down when I'm using this? It's not getting... Um, Nikki, I can help you when I get done. Peggy, what is all sold out, babe? I don't know what's all sold out. Y'all tell me what it is, because I don't think I have anything all sold out. Oh, are the Posca pins all sold out? I have another source that I could send you. The pins. And Peggy, you can also message me because I have a few I could sell you. Like I have some extras in stock. I think I bought a pack of like five and I may have two or three sets. If you message me, I can, I can um, sell those to you. All right. I love polka dots. You all know this. Look at this. Okay. So, do y'all see how much of a difference that white, like look at the flamingo. Isn't that amazing? Like it just brings it all to life. So, I'm gonna go through and I love polka dots. So I'm putting at the end of some of these accents, I'm doing a few polka dots. Just cause they're fun to me. Nikki got hers on Amazon. Yes, that's where I usually buy mine from, but Dick Blick also has them and I have that link on my website. To Dick Blick as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna do. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll just do. Oh. Now, please remember when you're painting that it's just paint. Okay. A lot of times, if you over accent, just paint over it. Don't don't let it be a big deal, because um, that's the hardest, one of the hardest parts. I feel like that people stress the most about is, yes, don't they? Um, what paint am I using? I'm using just basic acrylic craft paint. Thank you, Vicki. Um, but what people stress about is the details. It's just paint. It's just paint. You can paint over it. That's why I say paint thin, okay? So I'm gonna write something down here. All right, I feel like I wanna do something in my tail gate, but I don't know what I want to do. I think I might write. Um, I don't know. What do I want to write in there? I can't decide. But I think down here I'm going to put summer fun. No. I don't know. Let me think about that for just a second. I guess I should have figured that out before I came on, but I didn't. All right, I'm gonna click back over, click back over, click back over to my, uh, to my sweet little um, flamingo here, and I'm gonna add some details. I'm gonna go back to my black and add a sweet little mouth, and then I'm gonna add an eye. Now, friends, one of the most important things, like when you're, especially when you're working with animals is to get the placement of their eyes right. 
that will make a ginormous difference. If you don't get the placement of their eyes right, they can look like a different animal. Oh, I like that. Sweet. You want me to write virtual paint party, Amy? Um, sweet summertime. Yes, I like that a lot. And that kind of goes with my um, watermelon. Okay, I'm going to do a few more accents in here. And... That's somewhat centered. Okay, I'm doing WMZ 20. And I'm going to outline that in black. And that's going to be my little license plate for Williams, my last name, in 20, the year we painted. Should have painted that all one color first. What did I just tell you? If you don't like it, you can paint over it. I may go back and add, may, I might paint over that and make it a little bit different. Now, if I'm gonna write on my sign, there are two ways that I do that. One is using tracing paper, and I would make it the area that I wanted. I would practice on my tracing paper and then use my graphite paper to transfer that. Now, that's all stuff I teach. You don't have to, you know, remember it all right the second. But um, if not, then I would either use chalk or a pencil, a colored pencil of some sort, to sketch out what I wanted it to say. So I think we're going to do sweet um, in um, script and then summertime in, um, what do you call it? The other letters. All right, so I just wrote sweet on there. And then we're gonna do summertime, so S-U-M-M. E R T I M E S U M M E. I think are my two middle letters. Now, why did I write my two middle letters first? Anybody? Michael Sullivan, too, the Posca pins. Oh, that's right. You know, I heard that Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, Joanne's was going to get them, but our Joanne's doesn't have them. Yes, Nikki, to center it. So, it's not perfect. Remember, this is not a digitally created product. It's never going to be perfect. It's hand done, so it's going to have imperfections. But to get my center, I figured out what my middle two letters were, and I started with those. I still need to go back and add some color on those polka dots. All right, so now I'm gonna go over this. Use the letters for both words or to center it. So I used two different uh, letters. So I did script and a fun, tall, skinny font. So I'm just gonna go over that so y'all can see it. But if I had messed up, because I just used that colored pencil, I can just paint right over it. Or if I had used chalk, I could just um, wipe it off. Now I may not trace exactly where I made my first marks, 
but I'm gonna come pretty close. All right, so there's sweet. And I realize it doesn't look centered and that's okay. I didn't necessarily want it to look centered, but I did want the bottom letters to be centered. So now I can see I went down a little bit. So I need to, when I paint these, I need to come up just a little bit. So I'm gonna make that correction while I'm painting. Now I dropped, to give these letters just a little bit of um, fun, I dropped the, the line in the E, I dropped it down, and it, I'm also gonna drop the R. There are my letters. Can y'all see that? And I'm realizing, looking at that, can you recommend a lettering book to use for script? <gasps> Anne, honey, you just joined the membership. Like we just started practicing this week. So jump on over into the paid group and I will um, show you that video so you can get started because actually we did a script this week. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more accenting. Now, if you joined me yesterday, I told you that sometimes when you're painting, when you're looking at it from up close, it's really hard to tell where you need something else. So a lot of times I will need to step away and look at it from a distance. And by holding it up to show you guys, sometimes I see that. So let me show you where we're at. And then I'm gonna look. Yes, okay. All right, friends, I am pretty stinking pleased with that. Can y'all see? Do y'all see anywhere else? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Do y'all see anywhere else that I need to add? I think in the window, I need to add some black. So let me add in the mirrors right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of black. And then I think right here, I'll add some black. I did white, but I think I'm gonna go over and add black. Thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. Okay, I think I'm happy with it. The only thing I'm gonna do now to finish it off is I told you that I made some changes on my lettering down here, very slight changes. So I'm gonna get a really small brush, I'm gonna dip in my blue, and I'm gonna go cover those up. Now if you just use chalk, you could just wipe them off. Um, for my current members, <laughs> yes, that's a good way to do it. Yes, it's another huge welcome. Yay. Okay, so um, if you're a current member, would you like for me to scan this? Because what I can do is I can scan this part of the truck and I could send it. I can do a PDF for you and put it in our files so that you can paint this if you want to. Would y'all like that? Because I know that there's a truck in the vault that some of you have already painted. Yes, I am painting on wood. Friends, I'm gonna post this video as soon as we're done. Remember, the virtual paint party is only open through Friday, but I'll post this video when I'm done so you can all go back and watch it from the beginning. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about with virtual paint party, you can find out all that information. 
but I think we're done. I am so, 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 so excited. Okay, friends, guess what's going up on my door in the next couple weeks? A sweet summertime sign. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I know when we painted the um, truck yesterday, uh, it looked very, 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 very plain. So I hope that today you saw how all of the accents can bring it to life. I do, you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I need to go back and add a tiny bit of paint in these polka dots because they aren't dark enough. So let's do that real quick. Now this yellow might need even a third coat. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now I'm going to get that off and I'm going to go to the orange. This orange is super transparent. I may have to add several more coats of orange. And then I'm going to get that out and I'm going to do green. Alright, so don't forget you've got today, tomorrow, and Friday and that's it to join the virtual paint party. The next time we are opening it will be at closer to $30 a month. So this is your last chance to lock in that price. Remember that if um, if you join us at $19 a month and we go up to $27, $29, whatever it is, you still pay $19 a month. Just because you get more stuff doesn't mean you pay more. You just get to keep that same rate. So here, here it is. I, I'll go ahead and I'll put a couple more. You see how those um, green polka dots, I need to accent just a little bit, but they're wet. So as soon as I get that done, I will um, post a picture. But I hope that y'all enjoyed painting this with me today. I hope that if you have no therapeutic out, like release, if you don't have any way to um, de-stress, I hope that you will consider joining the virtual paint party and letting creativity be that stress relief for you. You can um, lock in your rate today at under 20 bucks a month. It's like Netflix for crafters, and we have a lot of fun, and we learn new stuff. And guys, I learn just as much as, as my members learn, so then I get to teach even more to my members because uh, they'll ask me, like, for example, this month, um, I was getting a lot of people messaging me saying that they were struggling to letter their door hangers. Well, you know what? I get it, so let's start small and let me help you build your confidence so that when you sit down to do something like write Sweet Summertime, you're not stressed out about it. It's fun and relaxing. So that is what I teach in my membership. <gasps> Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Annette, she just posted the link. Um, painting and crafting are definitely, yes. So, Anne, when I jump off, uh, meet me in the paid group. And I will show you that first lettering um, practice video that we did the other day so that you can get started. And all of those, like the printouts and everything, are already there for you. So you can start right now. So, all right, friends, I hope you have a fabulous day. I super, super enjoy painting with you guys today. If you missed the other paintings this week, let me show you. We did, uh oh, I moved it way too far. Monday, we painted this says choose joy and anyone who sprinkles uh, is going to be entered to win their own mason jar cutout to paint at home that video will stay up so all you have to do is when you get your cutout go back and watch the video and paint along with us so I hope that you enjoyed that remember to keep sprinkling um, I would love to get lots of fun people who need a creative release into the group before Friday since we don't open again until September. Again, it's under 20 bucks a month for the last time and you get access to the entire vault. Last but not least, this is our April project. So if you join and you are the digital member, you can cut this today and paint it tonight. So hope that you have a fabulous day and I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I have kids with me tomorrow. I think tomorrow is our, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. So we'll be painting with kids. I think we're painting a watermelon that we were supposed to paint last week. And if you didn't know, last week all craziness broke loose at my house right before we were supposed to go live. So instead of painting, I put the downloadable template up for free for everyone. It's on the Facebook page. You'll kind of have to scroll back through 
Uh, so you can print it and paint along with us tomorrow. So bye friends. Have a good one.